you know, you don't have to give up sweets. You do have to give up the regular sugar in sweets. And there are multiple ways of, of, of sweetening foods that don't involve table sugar. It is controversial whether you choose or to choose not to use artificial sweeteners. Uh, my view is that there, there are some concerns with artificial sweeteners, but if I had to balance the risk of occasional use of artificial sweeteners, or going back to using table sugar, which one's the greater risk? The table sugar is 10 times more risky than anything you can attribute to even something as evil as NutraSweet. Yeah. If you can give up table sugar by using artificial sweeteners, go for it. If you can give up sweetness and not have to use either one, fine. I happen to be a fan of the five carbon sugar alcohol called xylitol, which among the sugar alcohols has the least GI side effects and is actually absorbed, burned for fuel, and may have mild antioxidant or anti-inflammatory effects. Uh, problem is that in the US it costs about $5 a pound, but I only use about 10 pounds a year. And for me, it's, it's just an occasional sweetness that I add to things. Uh, so it's not a super expensive alternative, and it gives people choices.